that's a drum roll noise. Hello people of the internet, you know what this kind of video is? You will have done because you'd have already read the thing below. It's a whole video and it feels like it's a really short time since I last filmed my last haul video but when I look at the date I'm kind of filming them on around the 15th of the month and to be honest um yeah it's almost a month ago I am filming this one a little bit early because by the time you see this video I'll be on holiday Shh. and if you're thinking you're watching this now and you're going to think and try and burgle my ass and nick all my colouring books my mum and my brother are staying at my ass so you can't all right so i know what you was thinking you're going to creep round and you're going to steal all my colouring books well tough luck <laughs> and also if you're the horrible lady who left a message on my last haul video saying that she was sick of seeing videos with people's hands talking about how they loved everything and she only liked watching colouring tutorials this isn't a colouring tutorial nowhere in the title does it say this is a colouring tutorial and nowhere in the description does it say it's a colouring tutorial if you don't like watching haul videos don't leave nasty comments because I labelled this exactly what it was anyway <laughs> so hello <laughs> hello people of the internet I'm filming this haul I didn't think I'd have any more stuff I cannot believe how addicted I am to this hobby um, maybe the acquisition of stuff is part of the uh, the hobby um, and I did actually go through all my colouring books and um, start decluttering <laughs> and get, getting rid of the ones that I know that I'm not going to colour in and I thought right well that's it I've got a really nice set of colouring books now that I'll, I'm going to colour in that is it no more and then you see no ones and your hands and your gift vouchers just melt away um, but I am being more judicious in the items that I buy now so before I was just like, I'd watch people's flip throughs and haul videos and I'd go, yep, get in that one, yep, get in that one, yep, get in that one. Oh, that's got a duck in it, yep, get in that one, yep, get in that one. <laughs> now when I look at hauls, I go, nah, well, I don't really like that type of picture to be quite honest. And even if it's a really popular colouring book, like um, like Hannah Lind seems to be quite popular and Maria Trolley and there's another one like that, I can't remember. Hannah Carlson, they're really not my style. But in the beginning, I asked for a Maria Trolley book for Christmas, for example, because I was like, that's the colouring book to have. Everyone's got one. <laughs> and then when it turned up, I was like, yeah, it's not, it's not for me, really. Um, so I'm sticking with the, the ones that are for me. So if I'm buying stuff now, it's because I like the style of colouring. It's the colouring that I'm currently doing. It's the colouring that's relaxing me the most. And that's why I do the colouring. Anyway, such a prefix, such a ramble. Anyway, so, anyway, shall I start with the books or shall I start with the stuff? I usually do it in the order that I purchase things. You know, like I bought these pens and then this, but I'll do the books first. Let's get the books out of the way. You've probably seen most of them anyway. Bought this one first of all. I am loving the Colour Quest Opia black background ones. I am being selective about which ones that I buy. I have the mandala one, which is nearly complete, which is a bit of a worry. Um, the Chibi Girls one, which is halfway done. The I'm trying to see on the shelf, but they're not. They don't say the names on the side, which is really annoying. Um, oh, I'm gonna have to get up. Hold on. Uh, oh, that's it. Oh, I don't know as many as I thought. Um, I have. Chippy Girls half done, Mandala's nearly complete, Winter Wonderland which I actually bought at Christmas and it's, it's to, no, probably won't do it until Christmas and Dragon Fantasy, the one that I bought to serve as my brother and I haven't started that one yet. I might be giving that one to my husband. There's a story coming. <laughs> anyway, so I bought this one because I thought, I, I, you know, it's one that, I, you know, it's got flowers, it's got decor, it's... It's not trains and it's not lighthouses, basically, and they're really the only other ones that they had available. And it had just been released on the back background, so it was that really cheap £3.53 price when they first came out. So that's the first one that I've got um, for this month. <laughs> um, I laugh because I can't believe I'm saying for this month, and this month I bought all this crap as well. Um, anyway, this is this is the next one I bought. Now there is a story behind this one. There's always a story. Justification. I have, if you've seen my 20 years of colouring book haul, 
you'll have seen my I've got one like this this is the um, ones that are on like vellum like tracing papery kind of stuff and I've got the William Morris one that I got when I went to the William Morris Museum which is just up the road and my mum saw it when she came round and she said oh look at that that's amazing you paint not paint you know color it and then you can put it up at your window and she likes things like that she's got like sun catchers and um well sun catchers you know she's got them in the in the sort of side bit of the front door the patio bit of the front door and she's got them in the kitchen window and she does love sort of she likes fairies and she loves and loves things that with the sun shining through them catching the light and she said oh you could paint you could do these well it actually started off she was looking at one of the fairy books that I did and she said, oh, you could trace that onto tracing paper. And she said, then you could colour it and then you could put it up at your window. I said, mum, they already do all that. They, they already do, you know, colouring books like this. And so I was looking specifically for a fairy stained glass colouring book one. And there's quite a few. There's, you know, Dover do about, I, I don't know, 20 of these type of books with the thing. And this one was not the only fairy one but it was there was only one of them left in stock and so i thought well, and it was the most reasonably priced one because <laughs> they weren't cheap these ones for this little tiny thin book with hardly anything in it they were 5.99 this one was a little bit cheaper than that um, and it was the last one in stock so i thought well i'm going to get it and then when my mum comes around do a colouring with my mum in it that I take it out and put it on a window and then I might give her the book if she you know is something she wants to do with it so that's why I bought that one <laughs> the next one <laughs> is the book that I bought my brother for his birthday in May now I have the Christmas Archie's book and I don't have any Halloween books at all I'm not really into Halloween um, and I put this in the basket for buying for my brother and when I bought it for my brother it was $6.99 I bought it for my brother gave it to his birthday bish bash bosh done but I didn't know that there was one still in my basket and I kept getting notification that it was going down in price for uh, you know five eighty three, this that and the other and it went right down to under four pound and I remember when I saw it at my brother you know when I gave it to my brother I thought I do like this cartoony style I want to get my felts out and I want to do it and I've only got a Christmas one and this is the Halloween one and I thought I'm buying it that's my justification I'm buying it it goes with my Christmas one I can colour it at Halloween now the next one I regret buying the next one um, and I'm gonna it's gonna be decluttered straight away so if you're interested in buying this one off of me do get in touch either by Instagram or email um, my email address is my YouTube name at Gmail. But I saw this, I was watching a really old um, haul video or collection video, someone showing through their collections. And I saw this and it's the Fairies, the Colouring Book of Secrets. And it's created by Russell Ince. And it's, it's a lovely book. It's a really nice book. Um, and it reminded me in the flip through of a bit Joanna Bashfordy. So it's got sort of like some of the wallpaper type pictures. It's got pictures of fairies, leaves, and them leaves, they are giant of Bashford leaves, aren't they? With the with the edges on them kind of thing. And this paper is very nice. It's very similar to Joanna Bashford's paper. It's thick and it's um smooth. There's another fairy there sitting on a log and another wallpaper and there's a fairy talking to a squiggle and a fairy talking to another squiggle and there's a fairy anyway there's a fairy with an eagle on her head <laughs> but when it came I was like I don't think I'd ever colour in it oh they're dragonflies they're really nice look at those dragonflies because I've got I don't like pictures like this big face pictures I don't mind detailed pictures and doing little bits and bobs. I don't I don't mind wallpapery pictures. But it's just a combination. It's just I don't think it's for me. And I thought to myself, nice paper, nice book, but I don't think I'm ever gonna colour in it. Um and I would send it back to Amazon, but uh, 
I'm not a great fan of sending books back to Amazon because just because I know someone it was the last one in stock someone else will probably want it but mainly because I don't like keep sending back to Amazon just because you know I I made the mistake they haven't done anything wrong here it's nothing wrong with this I just should have given it a little bit more thought so if you are interested in purchasing this one off of me do let me know and I will sell it to you for exactly the same price as I paid for it plus how much ever it cost to get into an envelope probably best if you're in the UK because that's probably going to cost to send to America more than it would cost to buy it right so the next one now I was I'll show you two together here I was uh, dilemmaing between these two couldn't decide I knew that I wanted a creative haven mandala book because I'm very much into my mandalas at the moment I have three or four I'm going to check hold on four I have four I just checked um Camellia Angie Kalova coloring books mandala coloring books and the paper is quite rough not rough it's not really rough cheap no it's Amazon paper um, and there's two things I like in mandalas I like fine lines so you can do them with gel pens so by fine lines you know I don't mean the ones that have the big chunks of space I mean the ones that have got the more small space so that I can use gel pens and just get right in there <laughs> and I like mandalas that have got uh, thin lines not chunky bits and I like um, I'll, and I was trying to find a colouring book with fine line mandalas on slightly better paper than the Amazon paper smoother paper as it were so I was basically flip-flopping between this one which is snowflakes which is like mm, snowflakes in summer what's wrong with you and this one which is Celt Celtic Celtic which one's the football team and which is anyway Scottish mandalas um, so I ended up buying this one I was only gonna buy one of them and then when this one turned up I was more disappointed with it than I should have been because some of them are great but other ones of them they're just you need a pin to colour in some of the pictures I'm trying to find it now I mean even my smallest gel pens and my finest fine liners I'm not getting in some of them little tiny dots there you can't even, I can't even get the camera to see the little tiny dots and I was just like oh I really wanted smooth paper and a nice mandala book Grah. so I ended up buying the second my second which at the time was my second choice um, and this one's better uh, this one's got bigger lines <laughs> bigger spaces uh, but not massively open spaces and this one I really really want to can't wait to do all these whirly curly curly whirly bits look at that look at that look at it mmm can't wait so yeah I am going to colour in this one I'm not sending it back I am going to colour in this one and I'm definitely actually that one's a real lot thicker than that as well oh, it feels like it is I wonder if they changed 31 in that one oh 31 in that one Hmm. There you go, that's me done for mandala books. <laughs> so the next book I bought was this one. Ah, damn. Let's just rewind and delete that bit where I just said I'm done with mandala books. Um, this was just still in my basket. I actually have been really good and I've gone through my Amazon basket. It's not called Amazon basket, is it? It's when you save for later, so maybe it is. And I have gone through and went delete 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 and just added back it's four or five coloring books that I might buy in the future um, and then same four or five coloring books I've also added to my wish list so it's like I'm not this is it Fair hand down this is it um, but this is another creative haven one um, it's flowery based it's got some thin lines it's a bit of a sort of um bit of both it was black paper uh and it kept it was really not it cheap it was really cheap it was like the three pound 53 weird price that things go down to um it ended up going down to only one left in stock and i was just like just get it and move on girl and then then you're done with mandalas we hope 
this was the next one and one of the things that I've started doing and I've got to stop doing it is I search for colour questopia black background and then I search by uh, latest release or cheapest price and or both <laughs> and generally what happens so I search by in the last 30 days and then cheapest price and obviously what happens is the ones that are, are just come out on the black background and they come out of that cheap price jump to the top and most of them recently I've ignored you know there was a trains one and a lighthouse one and a something else one but I bought the landscape one and then the other day this one popped up I hadn't seen this one uh, in the black background before so I don't know how new of a release it is on the black background and um, two things that I liked about it is this one that the details are smaller and I can imagine doing it in gel pens can you imagine that tail done all in glittery iridescent gel pens I'll do a flash flesh in markers and then a tail in gel pens I think it would look lovely the only thing that disappoints me about when there are the small details is the numbers are so obvious um, they could make them I mean, I mean you need to see the number they could make it smaller or they could make it lighter because obviously when you do skin you're never going to come up cover up the number nine on her belly so yeah but yeah I'm quite looking forward to uh... actually I'm I'm packing for my holiday at the moment and I'm taking a selection of colouring books and things with me and I pretty much decided which ones I'm taking and as I'm flipping through some of these new books I was thinking yeah I think I might take this one with me as well my colouring book I haven't even thought about packing my clothes yet but all my colouring supplies are packed anyway so that was the next one and that was that the last one I bought off of Amazon no it's one more so the next one came about when I was uh, took my mum supermarket shopping. We take her to get her big shop uh, when she stocked up with all the bulk stuff once a month. And we took her to the big Tesco's and she bought me this. Um, I don't subscribe to Creative Heaven anymore. I stopped subscribing. Um, I just did that taster subscription at Christmas when it was reasonable. And we was looking at the magazines and she said, oh, look at that colouring book, isn't it lovely? It's got fairies in it. And I said, oh yeah. She said, you get that magazine, didn't you? And I said, no, oh, it's a dog. If you've watched my video about, um, what was it? Summer scavenger hunt. I was trying to find a picture of a dog. Look at him, big dog with a little, is that fairy standing on it or flying above it? Anyway, dog, oh, another dog and birds. Oh, I might rewind and do this one instead. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> um, yeah, my mum said, oh, you subscribe to uh, Colour in Heaven. I said, no, I don't anymore. She said, oh, it's, this one's lovely. I said, yeah, it is really nice. I must admit, that is a really nice one. She said, I'll get it for you. I'll get it for you. So thanks, mum. Um, the next two I actually bought myself from the supermarket. We was in Waitrose. And these two books were together in a polythene bag and it was $7.99 for the two books. And you couldn't see what was in them because I was in a polythene bag. And my husband said, are you going to get them? I said, I don't know. I don't know what they're like inside. And he said, oh, well, just get them. What's the worst that can happen? So I did get them. <laughs> and to be honest, they're not bad. The paper is... probably about the same if not a little worse than Amazon paper but the, the images it's like yeah I'll do that one it's a nice quick one shells not so much um, definitely would do that one would definitely enjoy doing that not so much would enjoy doing that um, yeah so I think for $7.99 for the two books and from a supermarket see I've already started um, <laughs> we're seeing if the I literally came home from the supermarket and started colouring in it away when to see whether the pens blended the paper was smooth enough for pen blending oh I've been looking for that it's my work <laughs> there's a list of stuff I've got to do that's so bad look I've been using it to capture the colour and it's actually a list of the um, my work not a work list I do a job for charity on the side don't, it's not a job, you don't get paid for it. I do charity work, and that's a list of stuff that I've got to do. Anyway, yeah, so I thought, so I bought, got them from the supermarket, and um, I probably wouldn't buy supermarket colouring books again, and if I didn't have any colouring books at all, I'd be really, really happy with these. 
Um, but yeah, it uh, is what it is. When you're addicted, you're addicted. Now the last colouring book is huge. Let me zoom in. That's as much as I can zoom out, and I can get a colour quest opia book so you can see how big this book is. It's probably 12 by 12, it might even be bigger than that. Uh, I've got a tight measure here, I shall tell you what it is. It is oh, just under 12 by 12. The old scrapbooking measurement inside my head still exists, and it's from, it's from Dutchland. It's Dutch, it's a Dutch book. Uh, I got it from Amazon UK and it was reasonable because most of these big Dutch mandala books are about 11 or 12 pounds. This one was 4.50 uh, and the images are really big because um, obviously it's a really big book. But you know, I fancied it and there was one flip through in Dutch on the on Amazon. On Amazon. <laughs> on eBay, so my neighbour caught my eye and I got distracted. And I, I like the look of it. I mean, that one's nicely small and detailed. These will take ages to do. Really, I mean, I've got enough colouring books now to keep me occupied for 97 years if I coloured every day. But yeah, I thought it looked fun. So, so that's the last of the colouring books that I have purchased. There is one more coming. One more coming. And I'm going to do what I did last time and I'm just going to put an image of it here. And I've bought this colouring book for my husband. <laughs> because yesterday I was getting all my stuff ready for holiday, packing all my stuff. And I, I took the pencils I'm taking downstairs to show him. I'm taking these pens, I'm taking these pencils. Like he's got any interest. We've had this conversation before. I'll go downstairs and he pauses football or the Grand Prix or whatever he's watching. He's got his thing, I've got my thing, this is my thing. Watching whatever he watches is his thing. And he paused it and I said, oh, I bought these pencils. I'm taking these pencils with me. It, you think it's a nice set? And he said, but you don't use pencils, do you? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I do use pencils. And he went, oh, I thought you only used them big felt marker things. <laughs> he means alcohol pens. I said, no, I use pencils. He went, you sure? And I was like, huh. I feel really bad. I felt really kind of, oh, am I buying a load of stuff? Well, I already feel a bit like I'm buying stuff that I don't need anyway. Um, and he made me sort of feel really bad. And I said, oh, you're making me feel really bad that I sort of am um, kind of thing. And he said, um, you know, he said sorry and all that kind of stuff. And he said, um, sometimes, he said, I, no, he said, I'm, I, I am sorry. He said, because you really get into what, you're really into this at the moment. He knows that I'm colouring every day. He knows that it's making me more relaxed. And that is a huge thing. Literally, I finish work and sometimes I'm really hyper stressed. And I turn around and do some colouring. And it really, if you wonder what I do, I'm on the operations manager for an IT company. And at the moment, it's really hugely stressful. IT is massive at the moment, clearly, because people are working from home, people are moving out of London and want really big remote systems. We work for um, schools, which is massively big at the moment, and um, pharmaceutical companies and just about everything else under the sun. And it's... We've recruited something like nine new techs in the last six months and yeah, it's just really busy at the moment. I have so much to do, so many projects. Um, <laughs> I was going to show you the stack. I, I have a, for each project I have a A4, like this, like that thing that I just showed you with the, uh, where are oh, look, they're here. I'm going to turn them over so you can't see what's on them. Right. But each of these, each of these is for the for the projects that I'm working on and they're to-do lists and they're literally one of them three pages long the others are all two pages long and they're just literally um, all the chunks of work that I've got to do and it's um, and every day I log in and I think to myself I'm gonna try and get done four things off the list or three things off the list and every day I log in there's another fire to fight or there's another new person to create and train on a system, or there's just, and it's just, I'm trying to put in systems to make everything easier, but at the moment it's just running to keep up. 
and I, I'm you know working extra hours because when you work from home like I log in an hour earlier I usually log in at seven at the moment which is just I'm supposed to start at nine and I log in at seven just to get a bit more done while it's quiet and then I end up um, not having a lunch break just go downstairs and get a sandwich 15 minutes later I come back and then uh, working through to you know later at night and yeah so when I stop and I start colouring it really relaxes me that was a tangent weren't it <laughs> but my husband said I wished I had something like colouring so I've bought him a colouring book to take on holiday and I'm going to say have a go <laughs> have a go kind of thing and I've bought him this one there you go it's because I know they're nice and easy to do it's a, it's a thing that he likes um, and you don't, he said, oh, I haven't got an artistic bone in my body. You don't need an artistic bone in your body with these. Anyway, so that's all my colouring books. On to the stuff. So, if you've seen my, um, what's it called? Budget alcohol marker comparison video. You'll know that I bought these recently. Oh, they're really noisy. And they, I have contact, I'll, I want to send them back to Amazon. I've contacted um, Amazon, well, I contacted the seller and the seller said, we're not geared up to accept uh, returns. <laughs> and I said, yeah, but I don't want them. I want to send them back. And, you know, they're not, the colours don't match the picture and various other reasons. And they said, well, just contact Amazon and tell them that you want to send them back and they'll give you your money back. And I was like... Well, yeah, but I don't want them. I don't want to keep them. I want to send them back <laughs> to you um, because I don't want them. Uh, and so they've said, no, that's fine. We'll give you your money, but you don't have to return them. I was like, no, no, honestly, I don't want to keep them. So I'm actually, um, <laughs> this could sound crazy, fighting to send them back because I don't want them. Um, but anyway, that w I did purchase them. So now, now you know. Um, if, you, if you haven't seen that video, you go watch the video. And obviously I also purchased these, as mentioned, in that video. So let's get those both out of the way. Both out of the way. Let's not talk about them anymore. Moving on. <laughs> so the next thing... And this thing I actually bought... I mentioned it at the end of my last haul video. I said there was one more thing coming, but I wouldn't show you it. And, well, number one, it hadn't come, but also it was coming for a specific, specific reason. Now, you'll have already seen the video about that specific reason, which was I bought this to take on holiday with me. And what I did is I have, um, it holds 60 alcohol markers. Green ones downstairs. <laughs> it holds 60 alcohol markers. And what I did is I went through... Uh, if you've you've probably seen this in that other video if you watched it if you haven't here it is uh, i went through i have two types of color by number books i have the jade summer color by number book and i have the color quest over color by number books so what i went did is i went through my alcohol markers and i matched up the jade summer colors so where five is yellow orange i chose number 37 pastel yellow and for 24 light brown i chose 94 brick brown so I did that with the Jade Summer, and I did it with the Colour Quest Opia, which was more difficult because they've got 50 colours. And so some of them I used the same colour for. So for example, I think here, Light Violet and Medium Purple, I used number 75. And uh, there's another one somewhere here, yeah, Medium Orange and Orange Red, I used number 14, Vermilion. So what I did is I printed that. That goes in the little pocket. And then there is my and there's actually 54 colours across those two bits of paper. So there was actually space for 60 pens in here. So I put the 54 colours that I ad identified to use in my colour by number books. And then I picked a couple of other colours. So I picked two flesh tones. So they're um, two light flesh tones to go in it. I chose a um, couple of more greys. Sorry. Two light skin tones here. A couple of more greys. I think there was a couple of... Purp, um, tealy blues as well so that I had so the six extra spaces I didn't leave them empty so this I bought this case to provide holiday alcohol mint travel storage 
and to cut this is my color by numbers you know the set of color i use in the two types of color by number books that i'm enjoying at the moment and i love this i take it downstairs with me in the evening if i haven't had quite enough color in after work i take it downstairs with me we have dinner and then i pour a little table over me i put my slope on it take this downstairs and, and, and do some more colouring downstairs with this. So this is a really nice little case. Everything I talk about is linked down below. Everyone always says that. I'm not great at pushing stuff. I like to show you the things in the order that I bought them. So I just had to go and scroll through Amazon to see what came next. Now this is the thing where you look at this and go, what the, what the what? <laughs> I bought these test tubes. <laughs> they were £2.49 for 10. And what I'm using them for is separating out the um wow my brain has stopped you can probably hear it whirring separating the uh, out what are these things called refills <laughs> glitter pen refills now each of these tubes holds five or six if you really ram, ram them in um of the colour research. So what I've done is like the green ones in there, there's the tealy ones in there, there's the blue, there's the yellowy green. But more importantly, what I've done, so I've separated out all the ones I've got into one of these. What I've also used them for is this is the, the gel pens that I'm that I use. And what I've done, oh where's that lid come from? Over there, is the ones that are basically running out <laughs> or look like they're going to need a change of refill soon i've put them in the tube and they it lives inside with them so if you look at this one here this is my bluey greens you can see this green is not much left of it it's number 20 and in this tube is number 20 so that when it runs out i've got the the, the refill there right to hand and i've done that with gone through and all, all the ones that are low I've done that with and then all the ones that's all the ones that are in my case that are low and then these are all the ones that are left and they live in my drawer just here with all my spare gel pens my stash of gel pens as it were and unnecessary but easier to find the you know like do it once look through that set of 80 refills or whatever it is once stick them all in the tubes Bish bash bosh, done. I don't have to uh, keep looking for the, you know, the, when I'm looking for a specific colour, I can just grab one tube and go, this is all the yellows or whatever. Okay, we're getting towards the end. So the next thing I bought was these. <laughs> now these, oh, the sun's coming out. What do I need to do so you don't get a line? Okay, that's I'll have to do. We're nearly done anyway, so. Um, yeah, these, I ordered these because you'll have all seen the... And you'd have seen my video about them. <laughs> but I also noticed when I was looking for the price to, when I was making that video, that they sell non-glitter. So flare, high fashion, non-glitter gel pens. Now, these said on their description, I can't find it now, but it said they had two millimeter balls. And um, I thought to myself, wow, they're gonna be amazingly juicy. Two millimeter balls. Well, when they came, let me just say, just find a bit, a bit of paper than that, hold on. They don't have, they don't have two millimetre balls. They probably have seven millimetre balls, which is pretty much the same as every other non-glitter gel pen that I have. Um, but eh, I'm going to put them with my non-glitter gel pens. And uh, if I haven't done it already, I'm going to do a review of non-glitter gel pens. <laughs> um, so yeah, I bought those. Uh, the next thing I bought was, oh, and this was naughty. This is the last naughty bit. I was trying to find a finer tip alcohol marker. Because I know in, I've seen in America, they make them tau, T-A-O, tau markers towel tree markers and we can't get them over here in the uk and um, i was chatting to the yar coloring lady and because she uses a lot of fine liner alcohol, uh, alcohol markers 
and um, she recommended the Bic marking ones and I was like ah. <laughs> not sure about those so I was looking on Amazon for the Bic marking ones and I saw this set and this is one two three four five six seven eight eight pence and it was one pound thirty seven one pound thirty seven prime delivery to be delivered the next day it wasn't an add-on it was one pound thirty seven one pound thirty one two eight pens one pound thirty seven that's not even twenty pence a pen and I was just like oh well I've got to try them for one pound thirty seven even even if I just use I mean they're permanent marking pens so even if I just use them to mark the bags for the freezer or whatever one pound thirty seven um they're all right I don't know whether I'll buy more to colour with but they're all right okay so the next thing is yes I ordered it the same day I just went and checked is these so these are it's a 48 set of slim line alcohol markers and they are identical to the tayo tree ones in america so i have got here an ohuhu and one of the new ones so you can see they're uh, taller and slimmer and these are the exact same numbers as um it's the Shinhan ones, isn't it? So I think the Kelly Art ones are the same. Though the Kelly Art ones may be the same as the Ohuhu ones. But these are the same colours as my Oheap, um, Oleap ones. And they have a finer... Let's find one. Try and find one that's the same colour. Not going to be able to. So um, they have a finer tip. Deuce. Finer bullet tip, not a brush tip. There we go. And they were £10 for the 48 colours. There was a bigger Ohuhu set which was £40. Was they Ohuhu? Yeah. But I just wanted um, to try uh, some pens with a finer tip. And most of the colours that I use in my colour by number books are in here. So there's me 70 royal blue and I think the 75 is in here as well. So all, the bulk of the colours. But for a tenner... I thought I would try the um, the fine, finer tipped alcohol markers as I'm loving alcohol markers so much. And now the last thing, the last thing was totally influenced by Colouring with Kay who did a uh, video about all the metallic-y, glittery stuff that she uses. And I was looking at various different metallic paints. So I was looking at all the little sets of paints and I was like, oh, I don't really want to spend loads of money. And um, and this popped up on Amazon and it's by Prima. It's their art for philosophy range. And it's these massive, <laughs> these are really big um, pans of uh, metallic paint, basically. And a lot of people was like, oh, they're barely full on the uh, reviews. When you look how big they are, they're huge. They're like they're as big as a <laughs> they're as big as a Mr. Sheen bottle. They they are big. Ah, oh, no, I sit here telling you how big they are when I've got a tape measure and I can tell you exactly how big they are. They are one and a quarter inches, thirty centimeters. Is that thirty centimeters? Thirty millimeters. Three centimeters. Three centimeters. Thirty millimeters or one and a quarter inches wide. And depths, they are three, hang on, five, six, seven, seven millimetres, eight millimetres deep, which is about an inch land, a quarter of an inch. And they're really big. They're not overflowingly filled to the top, but they've got plenty in them. And these were £7.11. pence. And you get a paintbrush. And... I aren't, I aren't, <laughs> I'm not really actually painting just yet. I have got my paints out, my watercolour paints out, and when I get back off holiday, I'm going to do a video of all the old stuff that I had from when I used to do uh, art journaling and painting and stuff before. I have got them out, and I wanted to get some metallic paints as well. So for £7.11, I decided to try these, and... I won't be trying them till I get back up all day. So, that's it. That's all the wonderful stuff that I bought this month. 
and um, I look forward to seeing you all when I get back off holiday and uh, yeah take care thank you very much for watching thank you everyone who subscribed recently I never I'm not one of those oh please subscribe put a thumbs up like because it's just if you want to watch watch if you want to give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up I don't ask anyone for anything other than I like to say thank you for your time and attention that you've given me for watching so take care and everyone everyone and uh, yeah see you later